Shalom. All right, I'm continuing uh, the video. I had to stop it. Um, so Isaiah 30 and 13. All right, it says, Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach, ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. All right, so imagine... Uh, a dam falling apart in the water just exploding out instantaneously all right that's what that's what um this uh punishment this judgment that the lord has for our people that's what's going to be like and unto all right so um i'm gonna go from there i'm gonna jump back to mark all right because Mark is actually what inspired this video. All right, we got to watch. So I'm going to read Mark 13 again. So Mark 13 to 33. Take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants. And to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch. All right, the Lord is on a far journey, all right? But guess what? He's going to make his return. He's going to come back. And in his absence, he told us what? To watch. All right, the Lord also told us what? To occupy till he makes us come, until he comes, or until he returns. All right, and what is he going to do when he sees us watching when he comes back? He's going to make us ruler over all his house. And what is the Lord's house? The scriptures say the heaven is, a, is the Lord's um, throne and the earth is his footstool. So that's the Lord's house and that's what the Lord's going to make us ruler over, his creation. All right, because what we're obedient, not, on, not in his presence only, but much more even in his absence, man. So this is a great honor. Even though it seems simplistic, it seems redundant and basic, okay? What, it, what we're doing is we're demonstrating obedience and through our obedience in our Lord, we're going to receive honor and glory. All right, it says, Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh, at evening, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning. All right, we don't know what hour the Lord come. He could come in the middle of the night. The scripture says, a thief in the night could come and the uh, morning early morning in the middle of the day at noonday all right we don't know the exact hour all right verse 36 let's coming suddenly he find you sleeping and that's what the lord don't that's what you don't want we don't want to be found asleep out here in this this foolish vain world all right committing all types of folly all right like the rest of our people man all right the lord Woke us up. He called us out of sleep. We're supposed to stay awake, man. All right. It says, and what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. It's a very heavy verse, man. The Lord told us to watch. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and get classic verse in uh, Isaiah. Real quick. Yeah. This is Isaiah. Um, chapter 62 and 6. It says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. The Lord has set up watchmen, all right, that's going to continue to watch, all right, and they're not going to hold their peace. They're going to keep speaking on the name of the Lord day and night. That's why throughout the day and throughout the night, you can go on the web, all right, on the different platforms, whether it be Odyssey, Rumble, or the most popular one, YouTube, and you can get fed the words of the Lord, man. That's because the Lord has established and set up watchmen. All right, it says, and give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem 
a praise in the earth. And that's what the Lord is going to do. He's going to make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Okay? The world's going to know that we're the sons of God. We're the Israelites. All right? But until then, his prophets are going to go out there, be times, and they're going to prophesy, man. All right. Now, let's go ahead and get uh, Matthew 24. Just want to get a couple more scriptures. All right. Verse 42. It says... The title in this couple verses says, Be ready for his coming. All right, Matthew 24 and 42. Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known and what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. So that's what we had. If we were standing up and watching for the thief, which we're supposed to be standing up and watching for Yahweh Shai, what? We're not going to be caught by surprise or caught off guard when things start to pop off, man. All right? Because even though things are going um, as things always was, day by day, you wake up, you go to work, you're in these little basic routines, that doesn't mean that these prophecies aren't going to come to pass, man. All right? These prophecies of pestilence, these prophecies of famine, these prophecies of destruction, they're going to happen, man. All right? Verse 44, therefore be also ready for in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. All right. Let's get First Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. I'm going to read, uh, sorry, 6. It says, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that he may exalt you in due time. And the Lord is dealing with the humble. All right. And the meek shall inherit the earth. But we got to humble ourselves. To the will of the Lord. All right. It says, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. All right. And the Lord told us what? He knows his thoughts towards us. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give us an expected end. All right. So that should be comforting that the Lord careth for us. The scriptures also say that he has care for his elect, which we're striving to be a part of. All right. If the Lord is with us, who could be against us, man? Verse 8, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, has the roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. All right, so well, we got to be sober. All right, that's part of watching. Because if you're drunk with the world, you're not going to be able to watch. All right. Now, let me get a couple more. I'm going to close out. All right. This is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 2, verse 13. Go. Actually, you know what? Let me get this and I'll end it on that. All right. Ephesians. Chapter 5 and verse 14. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Yahweh shall give thee light. Who are the dead? The dead are those who wander out of the way of understanding. Okay? Where is understanding? It's in these words. So if you're not constantly meditating upon these words, diligently discussing these words, okay, praying to the Lord, you're dead and you're asleep. And the Lord told us to awake from that place. All right. Verse 15, see then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, man. We have to be circumspect. We're living in a great, we're living in a great time. All right, that it's going to be a great reward. But in order to obtain that reward, we have to go through great evils. All right, so what? We have to be circumspect. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. We're living in a very evil, perilous, as the scriptures say, perilous time. This is 2 Ezra 2 and 13. Go and you shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. The Lord is speeding up the time as well. It says, the kingdom is already prepared for you. 
Watch. The kingdom is already prepared, man. We just got to continue to watch. So, Lord, well, this is edifying. Call Allah. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rukal Kadash. The blindness of the apostles and the elders of great millstone of Ruwell. Shalom wa barakim la bakari. Peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.